family, you do understand that family over anything, anything, family first. I have a husband to attend to. I have children. That's the Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Back to my question. I would want to know what has been your biggest failure, if there was any, and how you overcame it. I think here yeah, it will always be resource. It will always be resource. Because trust me, if the school or any of you has been allocated, let's say, $100,000, do you know what you can come up with? You get what I'm saying? I think it will always be a resource, but I try to find the balance. Finding the balance, meaning I try to cut my goals according to my size. I try to build each day by day. I'm not running ahead of myself. So even when I have a challenge, you will not even see it. You will think it's just me being me. So it's just trying to live within my means, not letting anybody pressure hit me. Go with what works. So when you have the basic, this is the basic, you have the basic already, you have built yourself a foundation, a foundation with technicality, you know it. Can you imagine if I was in a fashion school? It would be mad. Can you imagine if it would be great? Can you imagine if I had the talent that you have? There's no other basic. Don't let anybody confuse you. There is nothing powerful than education. When you want something, you do acquire the education, the necessary skills you need to equip you. Can you imagine if I know what you know? If I think you are the man me. Thank you for being an inspiration. Thank you, darling. I'm proud to be a Ghanaian, but it made me proud of course recently. At the Met Gala, Kim Kardashian's outfit, my friend and I had an argument. So I had to refer her thank you, on thank your page you. to 2019. You know, you know. So you know. Wow. She wasn't the first person to start a trend. You already know. <laughs> and you know. she room posted you and you are proud. Thank you. Uh, I want to also ask one question. You know, I, 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 I love you. Somebody's wife. I must say I love her style because I saw her style, the way you even do with your family, yeah. the way you open to people and stuff. Like, I love the whole person. Like, I love her. Thank you. Um, we, are, we are fashion people. The one thing about the creative industry is we don't pay much attention to paperwork. Documentation, contracts, stuff. This one, I'm not going to push a question. I just want you to talk about those stuff so that we know from from the aspect of someone who is in the industry, the do's and don'ts, and then the way forward of it. Thank you. Thank you too. You see, when it comes to paperwork, for me, I think it's very relative because we are in a system where nothing really works. Sometimes some clients will come to you, and when you want to go the paper way, they will come back. I think you know that. They will think, hey, where do you change me, Papa? We have people like that. So you need to look at the type of clients you have. The first time I had a call, I was going to start one of my clients in Liberia. Because mm -hmm. it has never happened to me. They came to pick me up. I had to go there. Everything was paid for. So each stage in your life, there come certain people, certain clientele, and you yourself know this is paperwork. You need to look at the type of clients that is right before you. Because if you present paperwork to almost everybody, and maybe they are not up to it, or just the fact that, where you why are you asking me paperwork? They call it me, I don't want to name drop. So, so and so designer, they don't even ask me for paperwork. So this is just within our circle. Not to say that 
you don't need to know the know-how. You need to have your formats ready whenever. It's like you just need to be ready. You need to have your formats of agreement, your terms of um, policies that works for you. So in case you have people or clients like that that are presented to you, you are up for the task. So for me, when I have clients, I charge them within our conversation. We have clients try to know them, try and have a conversation with them. That way, you'll be able to know their budget. That way, you'll be able to know what they want from you. Because when you just put the people away from them, maybe they can pay you, but ego will send them away because they think you're just paying too much. But it's not because you're paying too much. Are we going to get there? Yes. We are going to get there where there's a time before they walk in, the paperwork are already done. But until then, you just need to go with the type of client that you have, who you're dealing with, and know your technicality. Every day, I will tell you that. Always have a legal advisor when you get to that stage. Always, if you have a friend that's a lawyer, say advice. All the time. Thank you so much. Thank you.